even if you do change your mind, you won't be able to. God so damn, to dude. 100% sure that this is what you want to do. <laughs> I'm 5,000 percent Bro, what am I even watching? All right, ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? It's your favorite Mexican raincoat here. I hope you're all doing well today. If you clicked this video thinking that it was going to be about Darman, you are seriously mistaken. Today, we're going to be talking about one of his clones. So I found this channel called Life Lessons with Lewis. This has been all over my recommended, okay? They, like, it's been practically showing up every day, I think, now. I yeah, I think that's accurate. And this dude is actually a Darman clone. Like, he, he makes the same exact type of content. He has the same exact type of thumbnails. He's a clone, but look at him. Look at him. He, he looks nice, okay? So today we're going to be giving him a shot, all right? I, I want to check out his content and see if it can really, you know, ch change my perspective on real world issues. I, I think that's what these channels cover. Okay, we're going to be looking at this video, all right? I just found it. Today we're going to be taking a look at wife hires hitman to kill husband. You won't believe what happens next. Oh, they're even copying the titles now, dude. Come on. Life lessons with Lewis. You got you got to have your own little thing. That's Darman's thing, dude. Come on. Anyways, I'm not here to waste more of your time. We're just going to take a look at this video. Let's roll it. Oh, wow. You had some extra energy tonight. Yeah, well, you didn't do so bad yourself. All right, cool. So uh, they just got done doing the dirty. I'm not sure why he, he decided to include that as the starting clip, but so be it. <laughs> this guy has family friendly content for everyone as his banner. And it started, that's kind of weird, you know? That's kind of strange because it just kind of opened up with a post scene. Uh, Lewis, can you explain? I don't really even care all that much. I just thought it was funny, to be honest. Less some money for you on the dresser. You can grab it and see yourself out. <sighs> Javier, you really need to buy yourself some new clothes. You dress like a homeless Mexican guy standing out front of Home Depot. What even is this, dude? You dress like a homeless Mexican guy standing outside of Home Depot. My guy is wearing a tank top. How does that even make sense? I, okay, I don't know, dude. Whatever. Sick insult, I guess. Uh, you, you, you really got him there? Well, you're gonna start paying me more than this if that's what you want. Besides, the money's not for me. It's for my daughter. Why, are you trying to smuggle her into the country? Uh, uh... <laughs> Excuse me? What? God damn, dude. I don't know if this is getting so family friendly anymore, dude. Uh, I don't think I uh, would want to teach my four-year-old race jokes. From what it seems like, this is like the PG-13 version of Darman, which is sick, okay? We, we finally have another Darman, even though we never really expected another one to come. She was born here, but no. She needs hip surgery. She has Lake Perthus. Her body's out of alignment and it's painful for her when she walks. I mean, we got her on leg brace to help her out, but she still needs the surgery. Well, if her father worked harder, perhaps she would be better taken care of. You know of any companies hiring ex-felons? Yeah, that's what I thought. What's up with you? Your husband acting up again? Something like that. All right, so this lady's cheating on her husband, and she just paid that dude to raw dog her, I guess. I don't know. I have no idea. This is just speculation for now. I don't really, I haven't seen the whole thing yet, all right? I'm still trying to figure out what life lesson I should be learning from a lady paying some random dude to cheat on her husband. Maybe the lesson will come later or something. <laughs> I'm not really sure, but I'm very eager to find out what the lesson will be, okay? Uh, maybe it's not to cheat on your husband with some random guy. Who really knows? But I'm sure it will present itself soon. Take it from me, it's more common than you think. Trust me. What's common? Wives hating their husbands? Yeah, basically. A lot of my clients have grown some real resentment towards their husbands. I just realized that this is taking place in r that guy's room, Lewis's room. He has the plaque hanging on the walls, dude. I guess he's not at the point where he has a studio yet. <laughs> also, another thing I just realized, does this guy, ha he said he has clients. What do you What do you mean? Does this guy run a business around hooking up with older women or something? Is that a thing? Please tell me it's not true. A lot of them have been cheated on, ignored, or neglected for years. Some have even asked me to beat up their husbands. I've had a few clients ask me how to even take them out completely. What do you mean, get rid of their husbands? 
you know. And what do you tell them when they ask? Okay, this lady definitely wants to kill her husband. You know, she wants him gone. All right, she's making it very obvious by this point. One thing I will say about this is the acting is a little bit better than Darman's, all right? I know it's a controversial opinion, I know. But I, I'm just gonna say it. I think it's better. Obviously, we can't we can't discredit the king, Darman. All right, he, he's definitely the god of uh, life lesson videos, if, if you even want to call him that. I mean, what can I tell him? <laughs> I usually laugh it off. I'm not going to jail for somebody else. I might be raised around a lot of crime, but I'm not a criminal myself. Yeah, but you do know guys who would do something like that, don't you? Yeah, but... But what? I mean... That'll make me a compass to... You know what? <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not going to jail for 500 bucks. Is that how much they offered you? Tell me... How much is your daughter's surgery? God damn, dude. She is vicious. She is a whole ass menace to society. What a strange plot. I'm gonna pay you to get your daughter's surgery uh, if you kill my husband. Who knows, maybe the life lesson all along in this is to not hire a hitman, which is, uh, you know, an amazing life lesson. You know, I definitely needed to hear that again. Hey. Who is this? It's me. Me who? Me, Javier. I got a new number. Didn't I make it clear that you don't contact me unless I contact you first? Yeah, but this is about that thing. What thing? That thing you asked me about the other day. I found someone. He's a professional. I'm listening. We can't have any more contact after this. I'm gonna connect the two of you and then remove myself from the equation. He wants 8,000 cash. Okay, murdering somebody is stupid to do in the first place, but if I were to do it, I wouldn't do it for $8,000. What? With $8,000, you can buy a used car. I'm not sure if taking a life is worth a used car. Okay. Well, between now and when it gets done, you're not going to have an opportunity to change your mind. Even if you do change your mind, you won't be able to. So I need to know that you are 100% sure that this is what you want to do. I'm 5,000% sure that I want it done. I can't stand the guy. He makes me sick to my stomach. Just the thought of him. Okay, well, lady, that doesn't mean you have to murder your husband, all right? What? Like, that, that, what? I'm really soaking in this life lesson right now, you know? I'm definitely just thinking to myself, oh, I'm glad somebody actually had to tell me this. I can't wait until I have a kid and I can show him this because, you know, he really needs to learn the lesson of not hiring a hitman on his husband. What am I even saying by this point? You? I'm Detective Gold. This is Officer Spencer. We're here to inform you that your wife, Ursula Cromwell, put out a contract on your life. Imagine opening to the door. Imagine opening your front door to uh, the police telling you that your wife wants to kill you, <laughs> dude. This is Ursula. Ursula Cromwell. This is Detective Gold with the Los Angeles Police Department. Oh my gosh, is everything okay? There's been an accident. We're gonna need you to come home right away. An accident? What kind of accident? We think it's best if you just come home right away. It's regarding your husband. Is everything okay? He's not dead, is he? I think it's best if you just come straight home. Okay. Ma'am, I'm very sorry, but your husband was shot. <laughs> Dude, why does he have, why does he look happy saying that your husband was shot? Obviously, this girl's about to get caught in 4K, and I'm, I'm really just down to see it, so let's play this and see this lady get busted. Oh, no! Oh, no, not my Gary! Not my baby! <laughs> We're very sorry, but this is a murder scene. We're gonna have to get you out of here somewhere safe, like downtown at the station. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> Open the car. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so she eventually gets caught. Uh, wow, the husband's alive. Crazy. Still not really too sure what the life lesson was from this. Maybe it's just what I said earlier. You know, don't hire a hitman to kill your uh, significant other. I feel like that's a really valuable lesson that we all need to really learn from. Anyways, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, uh, feel free to subscribe. I'm not going to lie. The Darman clone, it's not, it's not too bad of a channel, okay? They weren't as bad as I thought they were going to be. All right. Props to Lewis for making it a decent video. And yeah, with that being said, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Make sure you guys take it easy. Make sure you guys are staying safe. And uh, yeah, I will catch you all tomorrow. Peace.